Hi, I'm Russell Lindsay, Senior Product Manager at Enritsu here in Morgan Hill, California. I'm here with Tom Brinkotter, one of our interference hunting experts. Uh, we're going to demonstrate to you how to do interference hunting with an MS2090A Fieldmaster Pro. We're going to show off the RTSA capabilities and our new interference finding mode. Uh, Tom is going to take this SA20E uh, vector network analyzer, it's generating a signal for us. He's going to go hide it in the back on campus and I'm going to use this, uh, this instrument with this directional antenna and we're going to go see if we can find it. Uh, it's key for us to use a directional antenna if we're doing find, hunt, interference finding. Um, these signals could be located anywhere. The idea is that with a directional antenna I can sweep an area. It will help me pinpoint it. We're going to find it and uh, hopefully eliminate it. Okay, so Tom's hitting the interferer. Uh, we're outside, we're gonna see if we can find it. First thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna set up the instrument. I'm gonna utilize my spectrum, my RTSA, my real-time spectrum analyzer. With the RTSA, it gives me the opportunity to try to zero in on the signal. I can understand a little bit more about where the frequency is. I can also understand the characteristics a little bit better, because if the signal is a CW signal, I know that I can narrow my span when I'm doing my search, and that can speed up the search a little bit. If it's a wider band modulated signal, I need to use a wider span, and I might need to change the setup of my interference center. So as I look here, I'm taking my antenna and I'm pointing it in different directions. One thing that you might want to do is get into a higher ground. So as I'm pointing, you can see the signal on the screen. I can see I'm seeing a lot of power in this direction. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to switch over into my interference hunter mode, my interference finder mode, and I'm going to see if I can find the signal. Okay, so I'm setting up the signal in my interference finder. So I'm going to change my mode over to spectrum analyzer. I'm going to make sure that I'm in that center frequency that we talked about where I can see the signal. So I'm seeing the signal here closer in at 3.5 gigahertz in that range. Okay, that's where I was seeing it in real-time spectrum analyzer. So now I can start to point it and see if I can find it. The nice thing about the interference mode is that it gives me an audio tone for the signal. So I'm looking right now at a 65 gigahertz span, and I want to. I'm sorry, thank you. 65 megahertz span. And I want to do an integration band with a little bit narrower. Let's go something like a 20 megahertz integration band on that signal. And then I'm going to set up my uh, my tone. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. And what will start to happen is, as I start to point towards that signal, I'm going to hear that tone getting louder and louder. So I'm hearing tones as I get a little higher. I can see that I'm hearing that tone as I point in this direction here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, pick about 100 yards worth of steps out this way. I'm going to stop and we'll search again and try to triangulate the position of the signal. Okay, so now I'm about 100 yards this direction, uh, trying to triangulate the signal. So as I take this, I point back to where I was before, and I can start to sweep. I see more power in this direction. So you see with my directional antenna, I start to hear that tone, and I can make adjustments here to my tone to try to make that a little more pronounced. So I'm getting that higher tone as I point over here. Okay, so now we know we need to walk in this direction. So let's take a walk this way and see if we can find the signal. Stronger and zoom in a bit. Change 
my integration bandwidth. Tom did a nice job hiding it for us. We use our interference finder to locate it. So with our MS2098, we've located a source of interference using our interference finder tone and our real-time circuit analyzer.